I should probably start getting used to the shadows again. Who knows how long I have left in the sun. <laughs> Maybe. But even if I could control it, it's a dangerous game. I'd spend every day waiting for something to go wrong, for the tadpole to find some new trick, reassert itself, make me a slave again. Maybe never seeing the sun again is just the price of freedom. I think I do. Assuming we survive, of course, because a horrible death is always just around the corner with you. There's... Something I'd like to show you, if that's all right. Something out in the city. Something I haven't shown anyone else. This way. It's not far. The graveyard is appropriately silent. There isn't a proverbial soul around. Perhaps. But some things are classics for a reason. Nearly 200 years. And I never came back. Not since the night I woke up down there. I had to punch a hole in the coffin and claw my way through six feet of dirt. Then when I finally broke the surface, retching up dirt and congealed blood, Cazador was waiting. From that day on, I was his. Until today. Maybe. But he did take it. There's almost nothing left of the person I was. Just a name on a rock. For nearly two centuries, I stalked the streets like a ghost. Well, the person I was lay here, dead and buried. I need to figure out who I am. What I want. You. I want. You. You were by my side through all of this. Through bloodlust and pain and misery. You were patient. You cared. You trusted me when that was an objectively stupid thing to do. I feel safe with you. Seen. And whatever the future holds for me, I don't want to lose that. Thank you. Well, I should probably fix this. Cute. 
I've been dead in the ground for long enough. It's time to try living again. With everything that life has to offer. If a night of passion is an offer, I could be persuaded. We don't have to rush into anything tonight. We might not have forever, but we do have all the time we need. Uh, unless we die horribly tomorrow, which uh, is always a strong possibility. <laughs> uh, come on, let's get back to camp. Who knows how long before the others go feral without us there to guide them. You know, I didn't care for you when we first met, but I do now. Being with you is about more than lust or manipulating you into a tactical alliance. I love you. I love this. And I want it all. feels ridiculous to still be thinking about Cazador. He's gone. I'm here. I won. But I still keep reliving everything that happened. Playing it over and over in my mind. <laughs> You're not wrong. Cazador left his mark on me in more ways than one. For a moment, I wanted to be just like him. I came so close to losing everything back there. To losing myself. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was... So blinded by it. <laughs> Just as Cazador was. But you saw something in me. Someone else I could be. Someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but... I do now. Thank you. <laughs> you did more than that. You... believed in me. Believed I was enough. Just the way I am. <laughs> when I look at my future, Anything and everything feels possible now. And I get to share it with you as a partner. An equal. You saved me from myself and let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. I hope there's nothing troubling you, my dear. Well, now's as good a time as any. It would be nice not to have to rely on you as my great protector. But, well... I do appreciate the thought. <sighs> Nothing special, of course. You're only the first person who I truly care for. <clears throat>
I can't believe you let me do that. Killing all those people. A pleasant surprise. You sweet, sweet thing. I want what's best for you too, of course. And one wicked turn deserves another. So tell me what you desire. What can I do for my dearest pet? Oh, my sweet. There are no vampires like me. And there never will be again. But if you want the gift of eternity, I can give you that. One more bite is all it would take. That's what you want, isn't it? To be mine. Forever. You wouldn't just be some spawn. You're far more than that to me. My dark consort. My right hand. My most beloved spawn. And you will. All in good time. But we mustn't rush these things. You may need time to adjust. Shall we have one last night together before you join me in immortality? One for the road, so to speak. Not having second thoughts, are we? Then come with me, my love. And live your final night. Tonight, I shall drink every drop of your blood, own your body, kill your mind. It will only hurt a bit. The pleasure will be far greater than the pain.
You have given me everything. Thank you. As he drinks more and more, you feel yourself fading from consciousness. When you wake again, you will be his forevermore. You are so beautiful. And you will be beautiful forever. Thank you for trusting me. You are stronger now. Better. You will thank me one day, I'm sure. Things will be a touch different for you than they were for me when I was a spawn. I'm imbued with unfathomable new talents. I'm fairly certain I can extend Mephistopheles' blessings unto you. I don't intend to die, if you don't. I truly believe we can best the brain united like this. You will be stronger, swifter, sharper. But you won't be different. You were already perfect before. It's hard to improve. As for me... Well... You probably expect me to turn into a sea of mist, run wrong side up on roofs, and to call on legions of wolves in battle. This will all happen in due time. But for now, patience is required. I hear the whispers of the night, but I can't yet speak its language. It's going to take a while to become acquainted with my new self. Everything lies ahead. I can see my path to a waking dream. From the Crimson Palace, I will govern day and night. Create a city of spawn who bow before me, cast a fog over the world for my children. I wish we could retreat into our palace already and spend a decade in each other's arms. But first, we must manage the trifling matter of the brain. Perhaps it will listen to us. Perhaps it too will serve. Love, look what's in front of your very eyes. We could have everything. Baldur's Gate is a city of opportunity like no other. And I don't intend to let one like this pass us by. Little love, whatever could be the matter. You want to talk? <laughs> That's very cute. Spawn is an ugly word. I really do prefer consort. <laughs> Why would I need to? You're going to be wonderfully obedient. As much as I wish to sequester you in a deep chamber of my palace and keep you all to myself, there's much to be done. First, We'll take Baldur's Gate. Then, we'll take the world. We'll dominate it until the sun itself melts. And then, we'll give ourselves to the night. Don't you worry. You have supped of my blood. It will be no trouble to extend a fragment of my protection to you. Just don't stray too far. But you'd never dream of doing that, would you? 
Of course I will. And you'll drink mine. I can't wait to taste your lips after you've tasted me. Ask me anything, and it will be yours. Yes, my treasure. My pretty consul. I don't like to see doubt cast upon your face. Fear not. You are mine.